This is a uh, four element Shaggy going to Negros Occidental. So let's check the antenna configuration. We have the mounting bracket. We have the SO239 feed point connected to a PL259 connector going to an RG8 coaxial feed line. Each element is secured on the mounting bracket with bolts and nuts. This is attached to the boom. Each elements are marked with numbers so you just need to put back the corresponding elements with their corresponding numbers on the boom. So this is the SO239 connector. Make sure that you tighten the nut of the SO239 so that there's no loose connection between the boom and the connector. So we have a gamma machiagi. We have the tuning stub. The tuning stub is marked with marking tape, so you just need to put back the tuning stub in between those marking tapes. This is the plastic spacer, you just need to secure it with cable tie which is included on the antenna package. So let's check the frequency response of this antenna on my antenna analyzer for the center frequency 146625. For 14625 we have 1.072 or 1.1 VSWR at minus 29 db antenna return loss or s11 carb or s11 antenna return coefficient so let's check other frequencies for the frequency response so let's put the analyzer to test the individual frequency from 146 going down to 140 146 is still 1.1 1 .1 at 1.078 let's check 145 145 is 1.2 144 is 1 1.4 143 is 1.4 142 is 1.41 141 is 1.4 and 140 is 1.4 so let's go up to 147 147 is 1.1 148 is 1.3 149 is 1.3 and 150 is 1.3 so let's check the frequency card So as we can see here, we have the deep, we have the frequency span of 140 to 150, a 10 MHz span. The deep is at the center or almost at the center of 146, 625. As we can see on the analyzer, but that is around 146.425 for the lowest dip or around 0.2 megahertz. For 146.625, it's 1.075, still 1.1. And 146425, it's 1.061 or still 1.1, but that's the lowest dip. For if you're using an analog meter, uh, you will barely notice the difference for that 0.1 difference. So at 146625, we have 1.072 at the dip of the carb we have less than 1.5 is to 1 from 140 to 150 megahertz so let's check the 
antenna return loss or S11 so as we can see here we have 29.19 or minus 29.19 dB going on the lowest dip so we need to uh, move the cursor so it's around 31 dB on 146.425 antenna return loss or antenna return coefficient let's check the impedance impedance is or re reactance is minus 2.41 ohms resistance is minus 51.29 ohms impedance is minus 51.38 ohms with BSWR of 1.06 or 1.1 at 146625 for 146625 it's 1.1 1 .1 or 1.072 as we can see on the frequency carb of N121SA antenna analyzer so this antenna is uh, working properly as requested to be used on 146625 center frequency for their home frequency so I will just pack this antenna and this is ready for shipping to Negros Occidental 146625 is 1.1 VSWR as we can see on this antenna analyzer so that's it thank you for watching and until next time